evening. Yeah, some noises here, and you see, I will show today for you the bank manager from Blue Free. I want to keep the front as a surprise very soon, but I can play a few sounds for you. And um, this one that I created today is Wave Sequence Tube Me. You can hear the tubes which I recorded, the PVC tubes, uh, because any sequencer, each step can have its own waveform. 32 steps, which is already part of Blue 2, by the way, but now the user interface is a bit improved, so it's a big screen for sequencer. And um, you see here, if this, here you can select the sequencer. If this little dot appears, it means that the sequencer is active. Modulation wheel. So, um, so I want to play a few sounds and then we go over to Blade 2. I had this request by um, Tom Aldrich. We would also send in the demo version of Blade 2 again in a remix. And uh, so I wanted to play a few sounds for you. Uh, let me see. Grand size, I'm not sure. Well, this uses a granular, which is available on the waveform granular. Yeah, some of the sounds you heard before, like the uh, very nice, um, where it is again? The Celtic harp. Oh, here it's squeaking my, uh, my chair. That's my chair. It's not blue three you hear, that's my chair. And that's not my back, my back is okay. So it's a very squeaky chair, isn't it? Very nice harp. And I made a variation with this harp, this Celtic harp with strings. So that's the other preset. So that's a variation. Um, yeah, the pizzicato I played, I believe. And it can change by the modulation wheel. Make it deeper in the reverb. Um, male choir. Uh, another man, you. Oh, of course, the two man, the two man. Yeah. Then this one is the Vox Rob Tone Pad, which I created by using my own voice. Which makes a very nice sound. So I'm not going to show the front page of Blue 3 because there was still a few little uh, changes, but this is the bank manager and it's of course very practical. You see this very similar to Predator 3 and all the latest products you know from us. Um, so it's uh, you have the start where you can give something a star. So if I would give this one a star here and I click on start, then it will appear. And this is a very nice system you already know from our other plugins. Yeah, we had this PVC uh, tube, but I combined that with a bass, with FM, using FM. <clears throat> Even with a tabla. Tabla type of thing. Yeah, this one I showed last time also, the fifth element, which is a sound, which we combine with the boil, with the choir, but this is the, the sleigh bells. Um, let me see, synth pizzi, then it's a pizzicato together with synth. 
So it's a bit different in tone. Yeah, mirror to mirror pad. That's a very nice. Uh, I see somebody mentioned. Yeah, then we have mellow flutes. I played, I think, the flute some time. This is the polyphonic version. It's not a mellotron, but it's the the own sample I created from the from the flute, and then I mingled the sound. So it's a bit more uh, broken in sound. There's also lead flute lead. Let me see where that one is. This one. This is then more clear. So this is the flute as a solo. And this is the same sample, but then uh, by using the features, uh, the sound is more broken down where you get this, uh, this mellow poly flute. Yeah, we have the Hysteria Choir. His That's also a new one. Some percussive sounds like this one. It's a balafon, and this is more realistic. So if I show you the balafon, that is a instrument that looks like this. This is the balafon. And we have multi samples of it, but also sometimes you have, sometimes with one sample, it also can give some good results. So that's the balafon. <clears throat> Nice for percussive sounds. Um, this way, am I okay? Many new pads, but I'm looking. Yeah, of course, we have the diamond string, which sounds like this. The typical sound is this this uh, uh, diamond string machine has a very different sound compared to the Selena strings. I always call it an ice cold string sound. It's, it's very icy in terms of the feel it has. So compared to this, the, the Selena strings, which is this one, which is far more mellow. So, um, so the diamond strings. And of course, uh, Blue 3 has built-in phaser, which and then you can... And the same you can do, of course, with the Selena, Selena fast strings. And then, of course, you can combine the Selena strings. Let me see this one, Selena and Pat. This is a very ambient. Uh... Yeah, very mellow sounding, big string sound. Um, super synth pad feel. I'm not sure what that one was. Let's play it.
So this is more a pet combined with a kind of choir behind it. Uh, then it's all super dry and pig bass. Yeah, <laughs> what a difference between sounds, isn't it? Um, okay, then I had, let me see. Yeah, the Alaska. This is the Fairlight type of sound. Yeah, the uh, Blue has drum samples already, but of course, these are the original ones. And if you want to hear a, a few of them, if you would go already in the um, uh, sequence sounds, I think. Yeah, that should be done. Already. That's one of the new presets, way sequence. So that's the way sequence, which is up to 32 steps. So here are some presets, the original presets, of course, from Predator. A predator. From Blue 2 are inside of it, Blue 1, of course. Um, wave sequence solo. So, uh, and of course, there are a lot of tabla is inside of it now. So, other percussion sounds. So, you can go really wild. Uh, distortion guitar, that's a good point. I think um, not a really recorded distortion sound from a guitar, but. Um, if you look at the original Predator, let me see if I can find it. Find preset, calf, calf lead. No, why not? It's only with one. That should be somewhere. Hmm. Maybe calf with three Vs. No, it doesn't appeal. Uh, maybe that's a little book. I need to check that. The in, if you want to receive blue three, you, the original introduction bank is very at the very end. Introduction blue two. There is the um, and there should be the calf lead. Let me see. I'm looking for it. This so this is the original um, blue two introduction bank. So we added. So sometimes people say, okay, I've, I use that preset, and I always found that in the uh, introduction bank. Oh, here it is, the calf lead. But it's more synth lead. Yeah, calf with a lot of V's. Calf lead, yes. Yeah, the wave sequence is currently still monophonic, so you can only play one note, but we're looking into, or at least John is looking into it, also a polyphonic mode for the wave sequence. So, um... So in the current, in the new introduction bank, we will have a lot of new presets, and I will also take uh, sorry take um, some presets from the original Bluetooth one sec one, one, one second I have to sneeze my nose that can happen so um, so let me see if I could just play yeah overall of course we added the BIT things to it um so let me see. So all the other sounds also very, very nice synth leads. Uh, let me see. We have um, all of my date. This one we had in, maybe we can recall this one from one of the live streams. I created this one 
in one of the live streams and uh, this one is called now mellow me synth and leads it's such a nice mellow synth sound Nice. It's a kind of using FM synthesis together with a bottle blow. <clears throat> this one is also new, and that one uses a new uh, sample because I, I I sample the blow the the blow and use that with a traditional uh, triangle waveform. <laughs> Hear the blow. Yeah, and then we have the flute du solo. That's of course the the uh, flute I I just blow. And there's a way blow lead. There's also a new one, a bit similar to the other one. And by the way, talking about a guitar, I see here still so. Oh, this is this is by the way, this is a blue two preset. So this one, blue tar and deep G tar, you would find in blue two. Yeah, dirty, isn't it? So yeah, these are... Um... Let me see if I have here... Oh, the popcorn, you know that one? Okay, now I get, of course, a... In this range, I should play it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so the engine also uh, did change a little bit. So very, this has this BIT. We have in total, I think over 30 filter types. So we have the type one, type two, zero latency filters are there. <clears throat> okay, so let me play one last sound before we go to blade two. So uh, for the ones who are a bit later, I only show the bank manager of Blue 3 to show you to, or to, um, to let you hear some uh, of the new sounds created. Of course, more will be created uh, in the two weeks to come before the release. And of course, after the release, we'll do some more um, presets. Let me see if I missed something. Uh, mellow, big bell mellow piano, that's more. Kind of E piano. Okay, I don't few notes. Big synth and man, that's a weird one. Very swirly. Classic strings too. I'm not sure what that one is. Dark moon pad, dark mood pad. That's a very mellow one. Uses a choir together with some other features. So you hear that one is very, very mellow. One of my favorites is, of course, this super synth pad field. This, uh... Yeah, I think I did show you quite some things and... Um... For the ones who are a little bit uh, later, so just showing a few sounds. The front page, maybe next week, 
but I just have the head of the release, then everything at the front is is clear. And uh, I started the live stream with playing this, uh, which is a wave sequence, but you also hear a saw wave form inside of it. And the tube uh, samples I created are used, and they have a different, um, I saw a, a different um, sample on a different step, so different tubes you can hear in this wave sequence. Okay, I need to do this to. Okay, you don't see it anymore. Main. So let me show that it is only. Mm -hmm. So now it's only the tube. And opening the modulation wheel. Yeah, some basses, yeah. Yeah, cool, isn't it? So yes, we are very well on track now. We are, the main focus currently is doing all the presets and the, the ones which are sure are already in the introduction bank. And uh, of course I played you a few. Uh, let me see if I still have one, which is maybe very cool to show you. Santur and Up Fox Up. That's an up sound. And you see here, up here, the, the, the appears a little dot in the up selector. So that means that the up is active. So these are little things inside uh, Blue 3. You see the up will get its own big screen, just like this. Sequencer will get its all big screen. And um, so about, um, yeah, we'll soon show you more. Okay, so. Back to blue two. So here in the introduction bank, you have this, um, this scaffold. I think that here it is not alphabetically. And of course the, uh, new blue three uses the, the, uh, files, which are, um, preset it's, it's, it's a neat file we don't use the bank system anymore here okay looking in the chat room yeah the fx i need to set up the fx to have that one um showing so maybe next week the the fx that will be a good idea because that one is ready to go um very nice new fx from us which has two sides of it so that's a little hint to you already if you know um, Del Sane, you know, oh, that is uh, Mr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So it's um, something similar to that. Okay, so let me go back now to play two, because Tom Aldrich did send us today a demo. I did not have the time yet to listen to it. And he said, well, maybe you have some tips with uh, Blade 2. Yeah, Blade 2 is a whole different story. It's a very, uh, it's a logical synthesizer if you know the concept, but it's of course pretty uh, complex if, if you are totally new to it. So what is a good thing with Blade 2 is simply that it has a lot of great sounds. So if you go to the bank manager, you see pads, and let's say take uh, here slow ambient blades, The thing you can do with blade, for instance, that will be a trick, is for instance, change um, the amp amplifier envelope. The amp envelope is here because that one has a lot of influence on how the sound in terms of volume contour develops. So if I go close this one, it has a direct attack. 
and I can make the release shorter. So that has a lot of influence. And if you say, okay, this is really an ambient, this slow ambient blades, it's called. So then if you open even more the attack, more the release, more ambient it gets. So you get a very, you need to play slow. So you see how much influence this has. So if you are using blade, the M section here on the on the right hand side is very important for the uh, envelope, the M envelope. Essentially, this is the case with every synthesizer, but uh, because you need to start somewhere with Blade 2. And this is one of the very first parts you can use to change the sound. So, so now if I go back to the original sound, and maybe you hear the sound and you think, oh, I, I'm making a a ambient track and you say oh it's all it's not bad but i want to have a more slower attack so that it uh, appears in volume slower and maybe even a bit longer release you do it here then the sound is already different this is very slow And maybe you think that it's too slow, then you change the attack a little bit here. So that's one thing, for instance, with a pad sound. Another thing what you can do is uh, looking in the left side, you see what is used here is the harmulator. And the harmulator has here all the controls, which essentially can be controlled dynamically by this XY. So if you're going to change the XY, the sound is going to change. Hear that? Because each preset already has its changes. And you can even do more. Double click makes it in the middle, but you can say, okay, let me try this on the, the timbre, what it does to the timbre or the symmetry. Just open it. This is, by the way, bypass. doesn't change too much and you simply give it a trial and error so this blade to blade two is essentially on some part a trial and error synthesizer the moment when you see okay this is cool then you need to stop of course then you need to save the preset because because this one is also nice No, the blade doesn't hurt, so that's that's a good point. <clears throat> I hear, by the way, a little pitch glide, and that's most likely in the FX. So here you have the three FX in the uh, lower right corner, and I think that FX1, which is uh, here on Office Cores, FX2 is tape delay, and it has one as a modulation, I think. Oh, no, not that really. Because I heard a little bit of glitching. Oh, there are two tape delays. So, yeah. So, in fact, uh, two delays are used. And this one has a modulation. So, if I shut it down. This wobble, this pitching wobble is gone. Okay, so you can do this change here. So, if you see a preset which has the, the XY static, try this to move this around. And... Give it a try with the features. You know, this one is addressed to the harmulator, and you see, um, yeah, just listen to to what it does. So if I change the bass, okay, I think the animation is off. Okay, now the animation is on. Then you also, why? Come on, baby, go on. Tile, turn dial animation on. Okay, it should move. But it doesn't. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Whatever. So this is part two, what you can do. So the amp amplifier and this part. So let's go to simply the next preset.
You're also very ambient. Now let's see what happens here. So this is cool if you do this in a recording because you can record this. Um, if I go to this bar, so go to a bar and I simply can record this as a parameter. So I press record, I'm going to record this. Okay, then I have playback. Now you can see here in, Q come on, Cubase, go in front. You see here is the recording of the parameters for Blade 2. So I open it again and then play it again back. And you see it will move. So that's also a way to use Play too creatively. These are cool things you can do, especially when you see... Uh, there are, of course, presets that have the XY recorded so that you see a kind of movement. Okay, but let's go to an, another range of presets. For instance, sequence presets were very important sometimes in your song. And you see this one is modulated. Now what you also can do here is of course again the amp envelope. Because that one has a lot of influence on the rhythm feel in your music. So if I go here let's say to a bar with the other instruments playing. You can find the right sweet spot, or maybe in a lower, slow attack that would be funny. Okay, make a cycle. So here again, the amp envelope is nice to make your own variations. Yeah, and then simply don't be afraid. This one uses, you see, this one uses something automated. Well, could be the arpeggiator, so I think if we go to the arpeggiator, I think this could well be maybe the free row, although I'm not sure. So if we go to modulation matrix, let's see what is happening here. Nothing. H harm modulator. Nothing. Okay, I'm not sure what is moving. There's still a live mode, but the you see it changing. Something is controlling the XY. But where is it? It's up, velocity, yes. The Y, ah, here it is, the Y. Um, so in the up arpeggiator, yes, um, is the two rows, there's a free row, but there's an X and Y row. So in the arpeggiator, you already can control the arpeggiator. It was in front of me, so here I can change the position. Can I put that one on? So go back, and then you see it in the background, you see it flying around. That's doing the arpeggiator. So it, I thought first in the 
in the modulation matrix, but there's already a direct connection in the op. Well, forgot to mention that. And again, here you can it's controlling only the bass. And here you can say, okay, let's control the timbre. The odd. Just to give it a try, even the filter you can do. So you see, it's a totally different sound. And just play it around. Don't be afraid. Not even here. Of course, you still can change here the parameters. depends in, on your taste then of course if you see the filter is active here you can also change the see what happens so of course a very digital sound so this was a sequence sound um, this one is a different one, let's just pick one. You see again in the amp envelope. So that's how, how much you can change with the whole feel of the sound. So if you have an arpeggiator sound, you can change the steps in the arpeggiator. Um, so if I take the original one again, and maybe you say, okay, this doesn't fit. It's not a bad sound, but it doesn't fit. Just go with tweak. Tweak the uh, arm. Put on some stats. Change the uh, amp. Maybe you think, oh, the delay is too much. That's here. Then you go down with the mix. I can hear a filter movement. here I really make it this way by changing a little bit the filter, making the amp envelope different, adjusting the, the FX, and making some steps go off to have a totally different sound. A bit too much note. I think I, if I might. Let's see if I. Maybe that one is even better. So by just tweaking the op, it's you got a totally different sound. So 
So let's play the original one. So what I changed is the amp envelope. I, again, I was here, changed the FX a little bit, changed a little bit the filter and the amp of the, sorry, the arpeggiator I changed. So the, this is what I did after editing, which sounded nicer in this little background we had. And this is the original. Two, diff, two, two totally different uh, worlds. So click again, edit. So this is anyhow something what you can do um, with Blade 2, only by doing three things, changing the ARP, changing the AMP envelope, and if you see the filter is used, also change that. And of course you also can <clears throat> look into what the XY is doing. This one is, yeah, this one is using, changes the filter. That's the movement you hear. It's not an LFO, but it's now the XY, uh, which changes the filter frequency, which is this one. Now let's go to a totally different sound. Okay, let me see if we have pads. Oh, chat room 2022. Not sure what that one was. Some sounds from the chat room, yeah. I think that was some, some time ago. Yeah, MPE presets, multi polyphonic expression. So it, it is also MPE compatible. So if you have a Roly keyboard or a keyboard that can send out multi. Uh, polyphonic expression we have some presets with that um let me see scope let me see sensor oh here are some Bass sounds using the harmonator. Now it starts to get dirty. Yeah, for bass, it's I think there are some good presets inside here in the synth bank one and two. There are some bass sounds. There's not particular a bass um folder because i think the main strengths of this synthesizer it's it can do very well bass sounds because yeah you can hear it. there's a very nice but a very different type of bass um so more like this but this is typically blade. So I think for certain things, blade it is blade two is a little bit more difficult, like a bass you get from Subboom Bass Two or let's say a BIT or Predator Three. So that's not the league where Blade Two is maybe the most powerful synth. Although you get weird basses with uh, Blade Two. So I think it's more in the different sounds. The wobbles, of course, are great. Some, uh... Very dirty sounds. One a very interesting sound bank. Um, let me see where it is again. B-Roy has some very interesting sounds. <laughs> So that's that's the League of Blade to making totally weird sounds. It's of course, yeah, you see, that's I think one of the things which uh, uh, makes me proud that uh, John and I uh, together create 
synthesizers which are different if from each other. So it's there are some overlapping points, of course, but Blade Two you cannot compare that with a with a Blue or a Predator Three or Subboom Bass or a, a Bit. So I think that's one of the powerful things with our products that they all have their special things. <laughs> So yeah, here what you can do is, here uses only the ripple change, but... Just play around. Yeah, it has some very special things. So Tom, I hope this helps a little bit. There's of course much to tell. Um, I think I showed a little bit of the um, the options you have we have inside of it. Yeah, it's as it sits in its own space. That's absolutely right. Yeah, op sequence also some very cool. Very dirty. And even has noise. Yeah, this is a very nice bass. I think this one combined with the arpeggiator. But also here the XY is used to control the position of the XY. You see, fly it around. By the way, if you click on the XY, you can bypass it. Click again. So maybe you think, hey, I don't get the XY working. Then maybe you hit this XY by accident. And if you think, I want to play this bass without the arpeggiator, then you simply go to the play mode and then you click here, po or legato. And then you can play the bass. I think it has also some very nice lead sounds. I think, let me see if we can find some. I'm not sure where they are. <laughs> Yeah, these are the typically typically blade bell type of sound. And this one uses additive, and the additive thing is also special because the additive you see here the combination can go up to four waves A. B, C, and D. And here you can edit them. So A, I can change B, C, and D. So that is another mode. So next to the Hamlet, which was from Blade 1, the additive mode is uh, can be used. And you can combine that together with the oscillator and the noise generator. So essentially, you have a, with Blade 2, you have a kind of um, three oscillators. So here, this first part, this oscillator works as a Hamlet or an additive mode. Then you have a, a traditional oscillator and a noise oscillator. So you have essentially four source source parts you can use. So the um, the additive mode, which I'm using here, is uh, you can construct in different ways. You can, you see, these are the different ways. You can also use only one additive waveform. But of course, it's uh, you can mix between these four 
or morph. So that's the way it changes from other waveforms to another. So. Using noise, this one, and the regular. You see the additive and the later is off. Let's use the oscillator and this noise. So this is the noise. And now it plays nothing. <laughs> So these are, um, by the way, that's the case. Here you see the first presets, which start with bank zero, are uh, the bl new Blade 2 uh, sounds and the 101 synth, everything that goes down, are the uh, the older Blade sounds, which are of course also great, but these are the newer ones. Guitar power. Yeah, then distortion can be used ahead of the filter. That is here. Here you can click it on distortion. <clears throat> so yeah, it's um, it's not easy to control, but I hopefully this helps a little bit. And don't be afraid. So. Um, just try uh, change the dials. Uh, one of the most important par parts I mentioned is the, the amp section where you can do things. The FX section, you can go in the XY, change the arpeggiator, uh, and change the filter if you are a little bit uh, afraid in doing things. And of course, if you have done a great sound, save it. That's of course important. Otherwise, you would lose it. So any bank manager, you can say, uh, create a new bank and then you would call this bank, uh, for instance, my own sounds and then you could save it in that bank and you could back it up so that you don't lose your own presets. Okay guys, so this was a little session today about Blue 3. I played a few sounds, so if you missed that, you can go back uh, at the start of the live stream and check out the Blue 3 sounds. I was playing the new, some of the new sounds. I only show the bank manager uh, and the rest will appear very soon. Yeah, that's a good point. Just go rogue with this VST and you run into very interesting things, definitely. Okay, so we go out with a, a nice song by uh, Tom Aldrich with, and he wrote me, this is what he wrote me. Hello, pop. He always said, hello, pop. Hello, uh, hello poppin. He, he makes it short. Hello, pop. This month marks two years of demos and Blade 2 is two years old. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, that's a very nice fact. Yeah, it's already two years. To celebrate, I remix one of the early Blade 2 demos. I really love this scent and maybe you can show us a few more tricks or on it sometime. Enjoy Tom. Yeah, Tom. Yeah, we enjoy already for two years very regularly your sweet demos with our products. Cool, Tom. Uh, many thanks from my side and of course you have your own spot on the home page for the people who don't know that if you want to listen again to one of the most the, one of the most popular songs you go to my home page um, yes I, sh I will show you in a second I drag this one here you go to the home page and then you have artist and you have TR TA Funk Demos, and there you will find Tom Aldrich, his many demos he created, which we played during the live stream. So here you can enjoy a lot of cool things. Very, very cool. And you see, in, in these two years, he <laughs> made a lot of music for us. Top, Tom. So, uh, but let, let's play it now. So uh, we're going to play it. Let me first put this back here, up here, so that I can read the chat again. I hope you enjoy the live stream, guys. Next week I will be back. I'm very busy with, of course, the uh, preset creation and doing the last things for the Blue 3 release, still planned at the 15th of November. 
And if you think, oh, that will be a cool thing, um, well, buy now Blue 2, in case you don't own Blue 2 yet, buy Blue 2 and you get a free upgrade to Blue 3. So check out the homepage, robpapen.com. Yeah, time flies, guys, and um, it's unbelievable, but Blue 2 was in 2012, released, 2012. So um, almost 10 years later, Blue 3 will appear, and it's going to be very cool, uh, I promise, and you already heard some very cool sounds. But now Tom Aldrich with 8 Blades. <laughs> 